Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, I've just had this uh, device delivered. It had a uh, broken screen, uh, which I've removed now and ordered a new one. But the customer also wanted a, a new hard drive putting in. Uh, so we said we recommended an SSD. And uh, we'll also put his old drive into a caddy so that way he can use it externally and access whatever files he needs to use. Uh, so I'll just show you how to how to com how to um, convert uh, this device from a hard HDD to an SSD. And uh, let's just get the the back off. So the best thing to do is uh, remove the battery. Do we need to remove the battery? Let me check. Um, but we've got a couple of screws here to to remove uh, the back cover. Uh, you can leave the screws in there. I don't think they'll come out completely. Uh, as you can see, it's lifting off quite easily. And just pull that away and you've got the memory there you've got the um, uh, the hard drive which is just there <coughs> and um, it's four screws so let's remove those screws I'm using this uh, little tool that I've got today it's brand new um, it's called it's made by a company called Chardon you get different colors I like red uh, and black uh, but you do I think they do purple, pink, blue, yellow, whatever colour you want. It's it's more or less uh, it's there, uh, and uh, I just wanted to see how um, this actually performs. And so far, I, I do like it. I like the the way you can just turn it, and the top part just stays there, so it doesn't you're not moving it around in your palm and it's you know grazing your skin as you're doing it. But usually, I do use an electric one, which is like this one. That's pretty good as well. But let's just. Take the hard drive out, and again, this has four screws. So just remember which way it goes around. So again, you can use electric or, or manual, but this time I'm using the electric one. But if you haven't got one, I'd highly recommend uh, the Chardon uh, Precision Screwdriver Set, 122 pieces. Um, and uh, there is a link below in the video um, from the Amazon uh, website. So this is the way I took it out. I've got a, a brand new uh, Kingston uh, SSD here. Again, there is a link uh, below in the description for this particular one. There are different sizes available. So let's put this in here. Yeah, so what I'm actually gonna do with this is uh, off, off screen. I'm just gonna right now just show you how to put the, put the hard drive in. Uh, I recommend that you put the screws in, but don't put them all the way and do um, opposite corners. So, you know, this side to that side, rather than doing that side to this side, that way you get a kind of a, um, a good fit. A bit like putting a, a car wheel in, you know, similar, similar sort of thing. And uh, this one needs a bit of, bit of tweaking. Okay, the electric isn't strong enough to do the last bit. And also it's magnetized, so you'll see in a second. There you go. Pretty cool, I do like it. This is gonna, yeah. Right, have a look at what the tools this company does because uh, this is, so far, it's quite impressive. Actually, that's not uh, correctly lined up, so I just need to loosen them a little bit. I'll loosen all four, all three actually. So if there is any um, play anywhere, then uh, we'd be okay. Okay, that one's in. it up correctly make sure it lines up properly and we push it into place there you go and we can put the screws back in again I'm not tightening them up totally I'm just gonna maybe they should all line up anyway it's a pretty good fit So 
So all that's left for me to do now is uh, put the back cover on. And also, um, once this is done, I'm going to install Windows 10. Um, I think I still think it's a, a decent machine, so you know why not? And just go back in. And there you go, ladies and gents. That's how you put a SSD into a Dell uh, 7350 or whatever the model number is. This machine, got what it is now. 3750. Right. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And uh, yeah. Make sure you uh, check in again. Thank you. Take care.